Hi, and welcome to the inaugural session of the Mini Psych program. Tonight it's my pleasure and my privilege to take you on a little trip, a trip inside the brain, and we're going to be starting at the lowest level of the brain, um, looking at the way that individual cells in your brain can talk to each other, and working our way up to the point where we can talk about systems in the brain, and in fact whole brains, and how uh, whole brains can influence the way that we behave. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and welcome Ed Thomas and Hugo. You came out of that suit case quick enough. It stinks in there. So you use your mic over here. I got mine. Okay. Such as how a checkerboard can tell us about the way that we think. Um, about how the brain discriminates between different kinds of senses, like vision and sound. Where are we? Where are we? We're at uh, Crane Roost Park. You know what that means? Yeah, we need a new agent. <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome aboard, and it's my pleasure to take you through there, and I hope you enjoy it. Yes. No, never mind. I, don't, I didn't come here to be insulted. Why do you usually go? No. <laughs> the comedy team of Ed Thomas and Hugo have been performing together for over 60 years. After thousands of shows, hundreds of cities, and countless fans, the team is retired. However, if Ed gets his way, if he can just convince Hugo, we may see the veteran showbiz icon center stage for one more tour. Could it be a case of what's old is new again? Let's hope so. Welcome to this session of Mini Psych. What we will do today is essentially look or um, try to understand what's going on when the brain is aging. Uh, Hugo has been uh, refurbished, but I've had Hugo for over 50 years. and. Uh, He's been my main man. In fact, uh, unlike many ventriloquists, uh, I'm always called Ed Thomas and Hugo. Hugo is part of the act. It's like Martin and Lewis and Abbott Costello. It's Ed Thomas and Hugo. Uh, I do have other characters in the act, but he's always been the main main figure. Ed's getting old. He doesn't know his lines. He's not funny anymore. Doesn't have it. He doesn't want any part of it. I mean, all the years we've been on the road together, and he has no interest in going back on the road. And why is that? No, well, I don't know. He likes playing golf. He likes the women. Uh, I just don't know. Uh, you know, we brought a lot of joy to a lot of people. And he thinks I'm getting old. He said I'm forgetting my lines. Uh, he thought he carried the act for many years. And, you know, they're really kind of hurtful. He's never come over uh, to visit to me since I've been retired. He says there's nothing but old people there. We're all on drugs. We're not on, we take a few medicines, but we're not all on drugs. But he, do, he won't listen. Right. I, uh, a long, long time ago. He was good looking then. Yeah. And all of his hair. Yeah. And his senses. He's lost it all now. Sitting around, taking drugs. He does. He loves getting out there in the links. I don't understand it. Chasing a little ball around, I, I just don't know. But, uh, maybe he'll do the show with me. I, I certainly hope so. I'm going to try to get him, get him. In fact, he may be coming here today. If he shows up, I'm going to try to get him to agree to do at least one more show. Girls. Showgirls. I like showgirls. Uh, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Here we go. He has his own fan club. It wasn't called the uh, Ed and Hugo fan club, it was just called the Hugo fan club. Uh, secretaries, women writing to him. Where would we go? They'd be waiting backstage. Throw things on the stage. Good evening. Tonight we will continue with the mini psych school at the Douglas Hospital. My name is Ashok Mala. I will be talking about not so common but serious mental disorders. What I'll cover in my lecture are basically what we call psychotic disorders. I will be talking about how common they are, what causes them, who is at risk, 
and what we can do about them. I want to convey uh, a sense of hope about these disorders, even though they are serious, but they are all treatable. Here with me. What are we doing here? Well, I wanted to talk to you about going back on the road. For the first no. time in over a decade, Ed Thomas and his longtime Why? showbiz you partner Hugo get together. I'm not gonna Ed do it. proposes a reunion of the Why act. One it? more tour, one more time. Oh, Let's see what happens. We had a lot of fun together. You did, I did. Uh, we made a lot of people laugh. You can't do that again. You're losing it. I'm not losing it. Yes, you are. Uh, can't you do one more show, just one more time? No. Why should I? Why should you? Well, how about uh, more money? No, I don't need that. How about uh, beautiful women? Hey, now you're talking. And most of all, how about our fans? Yeah. Don't you miss our fans? Yes, I do. Yeah, that's right. Let's see our fans again. Old fans, new fans, we're on the road again. On the road again, on the road again, we're on the road again. So it's official, Ed Thomas and Hugo reunited. It is a case of what's old is new again. New people, new things. When I was a child, it was so the team of Ed Thomas and Hugo are taking America by storm, so and their fans I'm, say it all. I'm really feeling happy to be near someone who has such a talent as this man. Very funny. Uh, I liked his bid with, uh, uh, with the board, Luigi, and uh, of course Hugo was awesome. Um, so I like it. Very entertaining. All right, now tell me what you thought about Ed. It's great. Great. I love his stories. You know, uh, my dad um, used to see him years ago and recommended him to me. And so, uh, you know, I couldn't wait to see him, and he was hilarious. Good. Elwin! Do you mean Hugo? Hugo. Oh, Hugo I love. The other guy, yeah. And the new duck, I thoroughly enjoyed it, really. Thank you. Thank you. I from Las Vegas, and uh, so I've seen the mama yet. He's fantastic, and he's... he's We've heard about him out in Las Vegas, and uh, we're a better way to spend a Tuesday night. And it's, uh, it's got it's got to go on. I'm her grandmother, and I drag her along with me, and now she's following along, not only with Elvis, and, uh, but with him. What do you think? Oh, I've seen him four different times, and every time I see him, he's, he's the best. He really is. And, uh, I feel a bordering on him. I feel like people can really mean it. Give just a few Thank you. Words, what you thought of the year. And as far as those mental health experts, well... 